My name is Dennis. I'm 67 years old, and I have a very large bump on the back of my head and three smaller ones on the sides and top. This is the bump on the back of my head, and as you can see, it, it is very loose. The bump on the top of my head's been there for 30 years. The big bump on the back is probably six years old, and the two smaller ones that are on the side of my head have showed up since the back bump. The one on the back of my head, I'll bet it weighs every bit of a pound. When I'm sleeping on my back, the pillow pushes on the bump on the back. I used to say that I could sleep through anything. Today, laying down really hurts. It wakes me up. I just want to get a better night's sleep. I'll put my head on, adjust all my bumps so that they're covered up. I have a good relationship with baseball hats because they cover the three bumps that I have real well. The problem with that theory, though, is the bump on the back of my head is out there for everybody. When people are staring, I feel vulnerable. One time, I told a little kid that I had a second brain, and <laughs> he didn't know what to think. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hi. Hello, Dennis, you, right? Nice to meet you. Yeah, what was your name again? Donna. Donna. Nice to meet you, Donna. <laughs> Shall we take a look? OK, first of all, let's see the baby. The okay. baby's on top. OK, with you. let me take a little feel of this. Sure. OK, like, I mean, I think this is probably a pilar cyst. It just got softened. There's a chance it could be a lipoma, too. And you got another twin right here. Yeah. You think actually little. a triplet. You yeah. are right. There is a triplet there. Then you have. This one here, my goodness. I mean, I don't know what's in there, but if this is a pyrocyst, that's the most giant pilar cyst I've ever seen. I'm feeling a little doubtful that this is a pilar cyst. I mean, the last one I saw that was even approaching this size was probably two thirds of the size of it. Comfortable? Yeah. Okay, just a little baby pinch here, right, right, kind of where we went. Are you okay? Yeah. And you shouldn't feel anything. I'll have plenty of numbing if you need it. You OK? You see? You don't feel anything, right? No. Good. Like, I feel like you still don't trust me yet. You're like, not yet. I think it's a cyst, but I think it's a water balloon cyst. A water balloon cyst? It's like filled with liquid. That's why they're soft like that. OK. Wow, how does a cyst not pop? Just takes a little delicate movements here for me to do this. What are we going to do with that, how it's stuck to him like that, huh? Yeah. It's a pilar cyst. They kind of break down over time, the larger that they get. And that kind of thing is just waiting to pop. It's almost like it's a ticking time bomb. I have to really be careful. If I puncture it, a big water bomb under there can make a big old mess. Plus, if there's bleeding involved, then I'm in big trouble. I'm essentially trying to de-scalp your cyst. Sometimes it doesn't get it. You must be sopping it up. I don't feel anything It's wrong. not. There's. It's. <laughs> I'm heading it off of the past. If I have a bunch of those, I'm then it's a problem. I'm just trying to be. I know. I know you are. I might get it open, and then that would mean game over, like in terms of me keeping this hole. <sighs> OK, let's see if we can't detach this whole thing. Let me. It's not hooked to my brain, is it? So the galia, which is like the one little last little attachment to the scalp or below it, sometimes likes to ooze on us. So we're almost there. You just don't bleed on me or anything, OK? We've been so close, and you're behaving so well. I can feel it's like just a little bit left. Done. I was able to remove the entire cyst, and I'm really pretty proud of myself that I removed it in one piece without rupturing it, even though this one was pretty big. No way. Pretty much two pounds. I feel much better now. 
So that was a big one. I didn't know what we were getting into. Well, hopefully the other ones won't be this much trouble. Well, I think we might need to split this up a little bit. Oh, no. So we'll tackle the other three in a couple days. I know that I said that I'd be able to do these all today, but because there was a lot of oozing, I'm really concerned that he could develop a hematoma there. And oftentimes when you're a little older too, sometimes you're more prone to bleeding more easily. So I really think it's a better idea for me to do this one today and have him come back another day for me to remove the rest. Hi, Donna. I still see one left. Yes, <laughs> we did this one on its own. Wow. I got back there and I could still see lumps. And I didn't know what to think, but one of my biggest prayers was to have the big one gone. You wanna see what came out? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, there it goes. Okay, you wanna see your friend that came off? No. For real. Honest to gosh. Look, it's like gold, look at, look at it. Oh, my God. Cool. good thing you got that out hole. <laughs> yes, can you imagine wow. what a mess it would have made? All the years that I told him he had a big water balloon back there, I was right. Wow. It's still filling it up. Now it's just a little sack. The good news is I'm happy that Dr. Lee is taking care of the large cyst. When I move my head like this, I, you know, nothing keeps moving. The bad news is Dr. Lee can't remove the other three right now. We'll see you in two days, and we're going to get rid of the other two, other three, that is. I hope so. I want the other ones. Yes. You did such a good job. I want the others. I'm glad we did this one on its own, though. OK, I'll see you. I'll see you soon. That was a big incision. Things can go wrong. So I really want to keep a close eye on it, and hopefully we can proceed in the next couple of days. The worst one's over with. I know that the other three were not going to be five-minute jobs, so I'm more anxious coming back because there's three instead of one, but I just want all of these gone.